The final environmental step for Australia's newest thermal coal mine. Obviously great news for, uh, for us and I'm really happy for the team. The Queensland Government has given its blessing to Adani's plan to protect and preserve groundwater at the central Queensland mine site. The regulator's decision to approve the groundwater management plan today comes after a comprehensive scientific assessment and Queenslanders expect nothing less. The Carmichael mine is projected to generate 10 million tonnes of coal each year to be shipped to India. At capacity, it could mine 27 million tonnes annually, making it the country's largest thermal coal project. And with today's decision, building can now begin. And you'll see construction activities commence over the next few weeks and that obviously those activities will ramp up. But conservationists claim Queensland's Environment Department has rushed the groundwater approval and backed down on crucial requirements. Previously, the department said Adani had to identify the source of nearby springs before construction could start. Now it's giving Adani two years. Now this is a shocking decision that's handing over billions of litres of precious groundwater to a billionaire to build a dirty coal mine. The obligation is now on Adani to abide by this approval, by its approval conditions, as it goes about its work. Politically, Adani has been sold as a job-creating bonanza. The company claims it will create 1,500 direct jobs during construction, with another 6,500 indirect jobs. But the employment figures are strongly contested by the mine's opponents. This just goes to show that the politicians have completely sold out to their coal mining donors and they have betrayed Queenslanders with this decision today. But in the heart of coal country, struggling locals are excited. They bring more money into the areas in which this place needs at the moment. For us as local business owners, anyone, anything that brings people to town is certainly going to benefit our local economy. The mine's approval is likely to set a precedent for opening up the previously untouched Galilee Basin. Six mining proposals for the region are currently with the federal government. One is triple the size of Adani. The Indian mining giant still needs permits to remove coal from the ground. That's not expected for another two years. Alison Horne, ABC News, Brisbane. Well, it's a decision many in central Queensland have been eagerly awaiting. Let's go live now to Rachel McGee in Clermont. Rachel, what's been the reaction there? Well, Matt, the pub is filling up and the beer is certainly flowing tonight here in Clermont. Last time the Adani was in the spotlight here, the anti-Adani convoy was driving through town and the feeling in the community was very hostile. Today, it was a much happier scene with many locals celebrating what they say is a win for jobs in the region. Tonight, people are saying they're relieved to know Adani will go ahead after more than nine years of uncertainty. It's expected Adani will pave the way for more mines to open in the Galilee Basin, which is more than welcome news here tonight. Clermont is celebrating. Yes. The go-ahead for Adani is the news the mining community has been waiting for. The town needs it. It's, um, everyone's passionate about it. It'd be great for the community. Some are still angry about the Stopadani convoy which rolled into town in April. Oh my word, it's a relief for everybody in town here. It's all over, we won't have the Bob Browns back. The way that all the greenies come through and they just look like idiots coming into a town like this, that's a really strong mining town. The convoy leader says the fight to stop the Carmichael mine isn't over yet. We've got uh environmental groups and community groups, uh, Indigenous people of course at the foremost, right across this country who are now working out how to continue this campaign. The movement's just going to get bigger and stronger and we're going to continue that fight to look after our future. But after years of uncertainty and high unemployment, many in regional communities are hoping the next mining boom has arrived. Everyone knows where the goalposts are now, they've got their approvals, now we want to see some action on the ground. The Carmichael mine kicking off means that the Galilee Basin can now open up. Townsville and Rockhampton will be the fly-in, fly-out hubs for mine workers. The fact that now with the construction of the mine there's up to 1,500 jobs that can transpire, this is fantastic news. But right now there's a smile on my face so wide that uh, I don't think anything could remove it.
Work will ramp up at the site within days as construction begins. Rachel McGee, ABC News, Clermont.